When life hands you flaming lemons, what else can you do but make solar power and diesel heater hot lemonade? Getting out of my job over a month early due to the Riverside fire means I finally get some projects done on the cargo trailer. Come along for part one of installing a solar power system and a diesel heater to my cargo trailer home. if this works. What a terrible angle this probably is. Anyway, we're putting on this treated plywood so that uh, we can mount the solar panels to it and I'm not putting the mounts into the roof itself which will also allow me to easily unscrew the mounts and take the solar panels off if I'm in an area where I would need to move them for more sun. comes with these splitters so it's self-explanatory. We have our cord here. The female will join with the male. And then our other cord. The male. And the pans. The male will join with the female. This is the scariest part. I gotta drill a hole in the roof. It's like right there. Okay. <laughs> of course. I mean, how do you not make cock jokes when you're using cock? I, know. I don't know anybody that doesn't make a cock joke when you're using cock. Oh, my cock is so stiff to come out. Unless I didn't puncture it all the way, but I thought I did.
I hope you're enjoying Alexa's box. <laughs> it's a nice tight fit inside my box. <laughs> and there's rain holes water holes so if it gets rain or snow in there and it melts it'll be able to drain and then the tubing will come down Yeah, I got it. it. Took a while. Ooh, it's got the boards hot. Fuel filter, hose, fuel pump, gotta hang that into the remainder of the hose. We mounted the thermostat controller on the wall here right by the bed so I won't have to get out of bed to turn it on. And then we'll do this one. So it like, well, it's not going to melt my tire. It's not that hot, right? No, mine actually points almost directly at my tire. Then we'll do it this way. Then we'll go find another screw. Watch your thingies. Good. Yeah. Well, that works pretty good because then it points down. That's all it's supposed to. Should get a good flow. Yeah, and it's going outwards. Yeah. Oh, it's not even going towards my tire. That's perfect. And this one can get all the fresh air from this side. Mm hmm. Cool. Nice. Thank you, Robert. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh, the camera's upside down. So we hook your power up, get some fuel in your tank. Alright. And so that is the vent where the heat will come out. So what we have left are the interior components for the solar power system, the wiring, the interior wiring, setting up the diesel heater doing the hard connect to the battery, getting diesel fuel, and a few other particulars. So if you don't want to miss part two to installing a solar power system and a diesel heater into a cargo trailer conversion, make sure you subscribe, 
ring the bell and if you enjoyed this video please do hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you later thanks so much